Scump, Envoy, Looney, and Mox. That was the team of four back during the Black Ops 4 throwback tournament that Hitch held about four or five days ago now, but I'm having so much fun breaking down some of these control rounds. I know a lot of us are new to control, and this can really only help us out, especially as we get closer and closer. Heck, we're now only about a month, maybe about five weeks away from Black Ops Cold War, so without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get into the breakdown. So this was their winning round. They're not really playing anybody of note, really. It's not like they're playing other modern warfare pros that they played you know throughout the course of the modern warfare season but this is a round that they start off pretty well and then it gets tightly contested down towards the end before finally they end up pulling it out here so obviously right now they are defending you can see on the left hand side of the mini map that they have two rounds one and the enemy has one round one so that means that they just have to win one more round in order to end up taking this map and i believe they end up taking this series with this map either so you can see right here that essentially they're just rotating back from defending a to defending b a lot of people like to stack a on this map Map in particular at the beginning of rounds just because it's so much easier to defend B if you're you know if you're playing defense so if you're on offense you'd want to go over you'd want to try to get AS scum fails over and over again uh, trying to make that jump up there this is a nice pinch coming through he's gonna hit them from behind he should be able to clean this out Looks like there's one other person left. So there's a kill, and he does end up going down. So I think this is where the enemy team ends up taking A. Again, if you're on offense on this map, it's a lot easier to get over towards A. The tougher thing to defend is over towards B. And you can see immediately off of spawn, Scum Squad is heading over towards B, and they're going to start setting up their defense here. Now, if you pause this, you might see, so just for an example, A just came off the board. So in the top left up here, you can see that in the minimap, it no longer says A. And they just received, I think it's an extra minute for destroying that bomb site. So if you're Scum Squad right now, it doesn't look the best for you just because you're down four lives and they already got the, the, the I guess it's the easier site on this, but they already got one site. So now it's kind of a game of, it's kind of a game of like search and destroy in a way. You're just trying to win that life battle. Now, the the good part about this is that there's really only one choke point that the enemy team can come from. I do want to take a moment real quick and show you guys exactly what's happening. So Scum Squad is over here. They're playing defense. So as they get over towards this B site, all they have to do is defend that point and make sure that the enemy team doesn't take it. The reason why this is the more difficult site because the attacking squad basically only has two choke points in which they can get there. They have to go towards this tiny corridor over here, which means that this and even this right here is a major choke point. It's really hard to get through those two choke points. Or the other place that they can go is just straight down mid and then jump over the top. But even that, you lock off this mid area right here. Now it's really hard to get through either of those two routes. They could potentially go ahead and flank all the way through that A site that they were at before and then come in from behind. But when you only have basically a minute total to get this, done if that takes 15 20 seconds to take that route and you're not successful then that can be pretty detrimental to your overall cause so as we're hopping on board with scump here you can see that that's exactly what they're doing right here he is watching that mid cut from them coming through the middle of the map and right here he's watching that bottom lane right so it's the same thing over and over again i think he gets a nice two piece off a of stun yeah i mean that's a perfect stun right there it gets a two piece and now as you see these kills come in over and over again, you're going to start seeing that their overall score or their overall kill totals end up getting closer and closer. Like right here, you can see Scump is watching back from their spawn and he's anticipating somebody hitting a full flank. If that happens, that person that's hitting that full flank is going to be taking 15, 20, 25 seconds to get all the way around. And by that time, it would be too late. So Right now, it seems like they're in a little bit of trouble, but this is control, and this is something that we've never really covered on our channel too much. So let's go ahead. Let's just listen in for like 20 seconds and hear exactly what they're talking about. Nice. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
playing mid. Outer are dead. Nice, they're playing mid. Nice, I'm going middle as well. Be nice little slide cancel there if you if you miss that by chance. In their main dead? Yeah, push at the side. Push at the side, he's dead. Huh? One's mid, one's mid, one's mid. Bottom ladder. Bottom ladder. Bottom ladder's in their main. Bottom ladders? Rick, he went to the right side, guys. He went to the right side. Okay, their side. I'm holding their side. He hasn't hopped up. He has not hopped up. Yeah, he's laying prone. I got him. He's dead. Nice, I'm jump. watching their side. Keep holding middle. Keep holding middle. They're gonna hit you. Hostile lightning strike. You can help him. That's a blind ping. That's a blind ping. He was middle. Middle, middle. Saw middle. Yeah, they're gonna jump down. They're two here. So right there, there's a nice three piece. They're able to trade out that last person. I think Envoy got three kills in that exchange right there. Um, but it's 12-8 in terms of lives. They only have five seconds to get back in. So in for just talking about with respect to this game, it didn't even come down to the kills overall. It strictly came down to time, right? They got through. They just didn't quite have enough time to get it done. And you can see the totals here. So this squad was led by Envoy, 3,700 score. Unfortunately, in these scoreboards, you can't quite see the kills. You can see them down underneath below. But you have to be highlighted on that particular person in order to see it. Kind of stinks that you can't see the, the kill death overall. Looks like Scump was 28 and 20, maybe somewhere in there. So I'm sure Envoy probably popped off with 30 or 35, something like that. But with that, guys, if you're new around here, you enjoy this sort of content, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have you covered all the way through the Black Ops Cold War, just as I did through the Modern Warfare season. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Any comments, put them down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to going into Black Ops Cold War. Leave a like. It helps out the channel with that. Thank you so much. We will see you in tomorrow's upload.